Hello friends, hope you are doing fine today. Let's make a quick video addressing the false claim of Professor Phony. He came up with this video saying that uh, people in those three regions of the earth see the Southern Cross looking at different directions. Now, I wonder why didn't he add night and day on his description? Where is night and day on this map? He purposely avoided to confuse his viewers. But that's okay, we're here today to address his false claim. Now this year, there's a date that you can look forward to, July 22nd, 2022. This is when, if you are standing in a certain place in South America, all over Africa, in a certain place in Australia, it's possible to see at the Southern Cross. Now, it's not just any part of this place, it's got to be in a specific part. And I'm going to show you today. Now, the first region is in Salvador, Brazil. It's located 12.97 degrees south and 38.50 degrees west. Anywhere in Africa, you don't need to point to Johannesburg in this case. And for someone in Perth, Australia, at 31 degrees south and 115 degrees east, it's possible that three people in these three different regions at the same time can see the Southern Cross. So let me explain here why. We're going to look at something that Professor Phony avoided, either on purpose or by mistake, is to demonstrate day and night when he was trying to show how three people in different parts on flat earth can see the Southern Cross. So let's look at this right now. First, we're going to calculate time zones in these different places. Salvador, in Brazil, is three hours behind UTC time, or Greenwich time. Three hours behind. Johannesburg is two hours ahead of the UTC time. Okay, Johannesburg is two hours ahead of UTC time. Very important information, because we're going to put all, everything together. And the last one. Perth, which is 8 hours ahead of UTC time, or the Greenwich time. Now, another thing that you, you must do, you have to go, let's say, this website here. In this case, we're going to use the Mercator project. So, I went to timeanddate.com, that you see a day and night world map. This is July 22nd, 2022. 4 p.m., 16 hours UTC time, translated to American way of saying the time, 1 p.m. in Brazil, 6 p.m. in South Africa, and uh, midnight in Australia. So let's advance, go ahead and go uh, start. Uh, let's advance, increment one hour. So now we have 5 p.m., which is 7 p.m. in Africa, 2 p.m. in Brazil, 1 a.m. in Perth. Another hour, 6 p.m., 3 p.m. in Salvador, 8 p.m. in Africa, 2 a.m. in Perth. So now you have 7 p.m. UTC time, 4 p.m. Salvador, 9 p.m. in Africa, 3 a.m. in Perth. 8 p.m. UTC time, 5 p.m. Salvador, 10 p.m. in Africa, 4 a.m. in Perth. Now you have... 9 p.m., 21 hours UTC time, that's 6 p.m. in Salvador, Brazil, 11 p.m. in Africa, 5 a.m. in Perth. Now, we, we cannot increment one hour now. We need to increment only 40 minutes, and let's see what happens. Just 40 minutes. All right, at this point, a person is staying in Salvador, Brazil, anywhere in Africa, and Perth, Australia, they can all see the Southern Cross. Now, why do these people can't see the Southern Cross? Well, that region in Brazil, where Salvador is located, is the easternmost region in South America, which means closest to Africa. And the Southern Cross is above Africa. Someone in Salvador looking south east, uh, he or she will be able to see the Southern Cross. Now, it's very important that the person standing in that region looks southeast. You cannot look south like he was demonstrating. 
lack of research, just laziness, or just, I don't know, he tried to deceive his viewers. Now let's move to the uh, next one, which is Perth. Why can you see the Southern Cross from Perth at that time of the year? Well, very simple. Perth is located in the westernmost region in Australia, which is closest to the African continent. That's why these three people in these three different locations will be able to see the Southern Cross. That's the best time. Now you have tw uh, 23 hours UTC, 11 p.m. It's already 7 a.m. in Perth, uh, midnight UTC time. That's 8 a.m. in Perth. So people in South America and in Africa can still see the Southern, the Southern Cross, but the focus is on all three parts of the flat earth. Now let's do it again one more time. This time let's add the southern cross on the sky and see again one more time. Let's let's run this real quick. So there you have again uh, midnight in Perth, 1 a.m. in Perth. The southern cross is approaching Africa, 2 a.m. in Perth, 4 p.m. in Salvador, 3 a.m. in Perth, 5 p.m. in Salvador, 4 a.m. in Perth, this is 9 p.m. UTC time. Let's increment now only 40 minutes. There you have it. The Southern Cross right above Africa. Three people stand in these three different parts of the flat earth can see the Southern Cross. The person in Salvador has to look southeast. The person in Perth, Australia has to look towards the southwest and that's the per how this person will be able to see. If you keep going, it's going to be daytime in Perth. Uh, now if two people you still can see, one in Africa and one in Brazil, no longer the person in Perth. But the only reason they can now see at the same time is because they will look at the same direction, adjusting their compasses and their declination. So there's not just looking south, right? The person in Brazil has to look southeast. The person in Australia has to look southwest. And that's how they all can see. Professor Foni did not include this on his model. He has the person looking, uh, like standing on Patagonia region in Argentina, totally wrong. And he has the other person standing close to Sydney, totally wrong. Did he do it on purpose? or plain ignorance and lack of research. And where is date and night time? He, you know, it's pretty easy to do. We're going to run this one more time. And the way we will do it, let's convert this day and night world map into a flat earth projection. I'm going to show you here what to do. I saved the image. Just take it to Photoshop. You can easily convert that into a flat earth map. And there you have it. This is what he should have used, not that deceiving picture. So let's go ahead and start again. That's 4 p.m., 5 p.m. now, UTC time, 2 p.m. in Salvador. Now you can see now, once we convert the Mercator's projection into a flat earth map, you can see how close that region of Brazil is of Africa, no way near uh, what he had person in Patagonia, Argentina. So let's go on, increment another hour, 3 a.m. in Perth, 4 p.m. in Salvador, Brazil. Now 9 p.m. UTC time, let's increment now only 40 minutes and there you have it. Three people standing in these three different regions can see the Southern Cross at the same time. Extremely easy to understand. He made it, it impossible to understand because he purposely used people looking at wrong directions. He didn't even include night and day on his description on purpose or perhaps he's just lazy, he didn't want to research. Here's on another angle, stars are rotating from east to west. Three people in these three different regions can see the Southern Cross, specifically on this day, July 22nd. 2022. Now that repeats during the year. Here you can see from another angle, from the top, three people standing in three different directions can see 
the Southern Cross. It's not difficult to understand. Pretty easy, actually. All it takes is a couple minutes of research. Once you research, you can understand. He doesn't understand the Flat Earth model. He doesn't want to. All he wants to do is to promote the satanic spinning ball Earth. Funny thing, he is an atheist. An atheist are what they call useful idiots. Why? Well, because the rulers of this world, they're not atheists. They worship Lucifer. They know God exists and they worship the enemy of the Creator, which is Lucifer. They, they, they use people like Professor Phony in schools and universities to promote atheism. Once people become atheists, it's easier to accept the heliocentric lies as one of them and not the others. So Professor Phony fails because he on purpose demonstrated his ignorance by showing people look in different directions when in fact all he had to do was to convert night and day world map into a flat earth projection and understand how Southern Cross can be seen in all three different regions at the same time. Thanks guys, this is all for today. So talk to you later. Take care. Bye bye.